praise the sun and watch out spoilers ahead. I recently got a lengthy hands-on with Dark Souls 3, which allowed me to start the game from the beginning and explore its first two major areas. You'll find loads more gameplay in our other videos and you can find a link to those at the end of this one. But first off, here's a look at the first three bosses you'll be up against. The first boss you'll encounter is very early on in the game, Iodex Grundir. Sorry if that pronunciation is wrong. You'll come to him at the end of your starting area, the Cemetery of Ash. the way to the Firelink Shrine, and despite the fact the difficulty level was slightly lowered for this preview build of the game, he shouldn't pose you much of a problem. He'll lunge at you with his halberd, which is easily dodged, and then when he's at about half health he'll transform into a slightly more imposing big tar snake thing. sword item when he's destroyed and what's also interesting to note is the message you get when he's defeated. It's quite unique. At the bottom of the high wall of Lothric, you'll find your next big challenge, Fort of the Boreal Valley. Unfortunately, I didn't capture the moment I was able to beat him, but once you figure out that you're basically untouchable if you stay almost directly underneath him, he's a very easy one to defeat. boss I met on my travels was by far the most challenging. The curse rotted greatwood is a big ugly tree with a killer case of genital warts, and while he attempts to sit on you, his large crowd of worshippers will try and take a chunk out of you from behind.
Once a certain percentage of his health has been chipped away, he'll smash through the floor of the arena and grow an extra swiping hand. I didn't actually manage to defeat him during this preview, but next time, it's on. For more Dark Souls 3 gameplay, be sure to check out our other videos from the same preview event, including one about the secrets surrounding the Firelink Shrine and a bit of a longer let's play of the starting areas.